Hey guys, it's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. I usually do something called J News, Japanese related news. I teach you a little Japanese and I talk about what's happening here in Japan. But today I've been asked to talk about the shooting in Orlando. I'm sure all of you have heard. This is the information I have so far. A man named Omar Mateen, an Islamic sympathizer, I think he was 29 years old, went to an Orlando gay club called Pulse and in the wee hours of the morning shot and killed 50 people. Uh, killed 50 people and has injured 53 people and uh, I don't usually have a, a emotional or physical uh, reaction to the news to be honest I'm pretty desensitized uh, you see so much you know of course you feel bad in, in you know you feel it here you think oh that's terrible but but this one um, I don't know why I, I, I you know just uh, this one hurts a little bit here um, and I feel like it's something we should talk about. Well, this is what I think. We, we need not to jump to conclusions. Uh, we need to not just point fingers, although that's what makes us feel good. Uh, human beings naturally are afraid of the unknown. Uh, some might argue that's why we created God. Uh, you can debate that in the comment section. Um, so when something like this happens, we want to say, oh, it's because of guns. If there had been guns in the nightclub, we could have protected ourselves. Oh, no, it's because of guns. If he had not been able to get guns, we could have stopped it. Oh, it's because of the Muslims and the ISIS and because Obama uh, has been too, too lenient with his attitudes towards uh, Muslims, etc. I mean, there, there's a, there are a lot of reasons you can come up with. Um, but none of those really work. Uh, the problem is you're trying to be logical, and this is an illogical situation. It's illogical. This man is crazy. That's really the bottom line. You don't walk into, you know, you don't think, oh, I don't like homosexuals, so I'm going to walk into a nightclub and start shooting people, or I don't, I support ISIS, so I'm going to go kill gays because they're the enemy of ISIS. Leap in logic that even evil Knievel couldn't make. So. It's a waste of time to try to point the finger or to blame people to, 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 to find reasons why this happened. And when I got this news, when I saw this news, I was actually feeling, if anything, pretty happy about humanity because I had just seen a wonderful eulogy delivered by Billy Crystal. It was Muhammad Ali's eulogy. And he was talking about how he, uh, he, he just thought, he, he being a Jew and, and Muhammad Ali being the world's most famous Muslim, were good friends. They were very good friends. And I, and I just thought, isn't that nice? It, it can happen. At least there's two, there's a, one Muslim and one Jew who, who are friends, and that's great. You know, maybe we, maybe we can all eventually someday all be friends, etc. But the, the point is, I was feeling that aren't Muslims getting a bad rap? You know, you got Muhammad Ali, who's beloved by everyone, a beloved character. He's loved by everyone, a beloved character, uh, you know, bigger than life, all that stuff. And then you got this guy, Omar Mateen, going out there and shooting everybody and... If any, you know, naturally this is not good for Muslims. I mean, it's just going to make everyone think, Ah, oh, see, I told you Muslims were bad. And see, Trump was right. Because I know what's happening right now is people are starting to politicize this. Of course, Trump is one of the first to do this. And it's just a mistake. Now, of course, the call for better arm, arm control is also going to be a, uh, an accusation of trying to politicize an event or this uh, incident. And that's also a mistake. Because remember, this is, people have been trying to, to do something about the gun problem for, for years now. And we have, we have to. I mean, no matter when this, something like this happens, you have to admit that something has to be done. I don't know what has to be done. And, and it's dishonest to, to say that, oh, the Obama or Hillary Clinton, are, they're trying to take away the Second Amendment, right? Because they're not. I and mean, more sons have been uh, sold in the last eight years than ever in American history. So that's just a crock of bull. I did see, this, see something very interesting on PBS. I think it was I think it was a recent uh, program, but I just saw the I saw it on Facebook the other day. Obama was giving a speech at some some town hall type of speech, and someone challenged him on gun rights, and he pointed out that yeah, he's he's not trying to take away the Second Amendment, but he thinks it's wrong that people who are being investigated by the FBI can still buy assault rifles and buy weapons and buy ammunition, and that's what happened in this case. I'm about to leave office. There have been more guns sold since I've been president than just about any time in U.S. history. I, I just came from a meeting today in the Situation Room in which I've got people who we know have been on ISIL websites, living here in the United States, U.S. citizens, 
and we're allowed to put them on the no-fly list when it comes to airlines, but because of the National Rifle Association, I cannot prohibit those people from buying a gun. This guy, uh, Omar Mateen, uh, who, by the way, was American-born, you know, he's not a, he's not a, he's not a Syrian who came over. Uh, so Trump's, you know, blocking Muslim immigrants is just pointless. That's not going to do anything. Unless you want to round up all the Muslims and put, a, put a, him, them in an internment camp, which I wouldn't put it past uh, Trump to, to maybe suggest that next. But anyway, Obama was saying that he thought it was wrong that people who, who are being investigated by the FBI can just buy guns. And this is what happened here. This guy, Omar, was investigated in 2013 and 2014 for sympathizing with suicide bombers and with the, the whole ISIS movement. And he said, Obama said the, the biggest threat uh, to, to America is, is the people who are getting brainwashed by the internet. And this is probably what happened here. But again, I'm trying to be logical, which, which is the mistake, because the man who knew this guy the most was his wife, uh, some U Ube a woman from Ubesk, Ubesk, I can't remember, Ubesiskan, Ubekiskan, I don't remember where, I put the piece of paper somewhere. But anyway, one of those stand countries. And she said that he, after being married to him for four months, he was apparently crazy. Uh, he was uh, bipolar, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's really the, the best we can go on right now. None of us knew him, so it's just, it's just silly for us to all to pretend that we know, you know why he did it. Uh, in my mind, anyone who does something like that is just crazy. And that's all you can say about it, right? I do have some Japanese notes about this, so uh, for those of you who are studying Japanese, I will end this video with a few Japanese notes on this. Language notes, and I'll put those in the description as well. Uh, but it's a very, it's a very sad thing. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I do know. I will tell you this. I asked a couple of Japanese uh, people to talk about this with me on camera, and they refused because they are afraid of ISIS. They don't even want to mention the word ISIS. It's a terrifying thing here in Japan. And uh, and you know what they said? They said again, you know, because this is the kind of thing that happens in, in America all the time. I'm going to America this summer. When I see things like this. Uh, I, I, make a, I make a mental note to, uh, to myself saying, I'm not going to let this stop me. I'm not going to let this interfere with my travel plans at all. But I got to tell you the truth that if my wife said uh, she's too afraid to travel, she doesn't want to go, even as illogical as I mean, because statistically speaking, it's still probably the, the chances of us getting in a car accident and you know, being injured or killed in a car accident, those chances are much higher than being attacked by terrorists. But uh, you know, if my wife insisted, you know, we have a kid now, and of course I can't really argue as illogical as that might seem. So we'll see what happens. So that's all I got to say about that. Uh, real quickly, I'll put some notes uh, in the description. There was something I wanted to point out that was, uh, I thought, kind of sad. The father of the man, of the killer, said, so my son saw two men kissing a few months ago, and he was just really, really angry. Uh, another thing about about this insanity thing, and of course I'm not an expert at all uh, about insanity, but um, I I would assume that when a man is crazy, he looks for things to justify his craziness in some way, or things to lean on to help him understand his his irrationality, and maybe uh, somehow he connected. You know, he, he thought in his mind oh, ISIS supports the way I feel and makes my feelings okay, so I'm just going to go with ISIS. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the other headline here we see on the, on the front, Florida Ju Rancha, which is shooting, Florida shooting, Yogisha, the suspect, wa kako nido, in the past two times, jijo choshu, which means he has been investigated twice in the past. America shijo, which, is, which means in history, in American history, sayaku, the worst, no, Jiransha Jiken, worst shooting event or incident, ga okita, okita, which means it has happened. Juni Nichi on the 12th, Mime uh, in the wee hours of, of the morning of the 12th, Florida Shu in Florida, de Hyakunin Ijo, more than 100 people, ga subject marker, Shisho um, killed or injured, shita, uh, Shisho shita. Um, in the shooting incident, Yogisha no toko wa kako ni nido, uh, a male suspect in the past two times, Islam kageki ha, uh, Islam extremist, um, branch, ha is like branch or sect, uh, Islamic sect, extreme Islamic sect, no kanren de 
connection. Jijo uh, Choshu has been investigated. Oh, Uketeita, he received this investigation. Koto ga wakatta, so they, they know. Going backwards to so explain uh, roughly. They know that this, is, this uh, suspect has been investigated twice for having connections to an Islamic sect. In this uh, shooting incident, which left 100 people, more than 100 people either killed or injured in Florida on the morning of the 12th. And this is the worst, shoot, the worst shooting is incident in uh, American history. That's your lesson. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about things like this and what you think can be done to stop something like this. Uh, of course, we want to preserve the Second Amendment right to bear guns, but doesn't have something have to be done? Or do you think we have enough laws that are on the books right now and that they just are not being enforced properly? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everyone. My name is Victor. Uh, give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. And with a heavy heart, I bid thee all adieu.